Hi, it's Jonathan, and welcome back to my house. As you can see, um, and my cameraman will point it over there, uh, the last time we met, there was no siding on the house at all, and now it's we have black paper and chicken wire, and that's basically the um, where all of the the um, stucco will actually go on there. The first coating that you have is what's called uh, a brown coat. And I'll get a little bit closer so you can see. It's basically, it's chicken wire and black paper, and that black paper is a water, a water barrier uh, to the inside of the house. So I'm going to take you back inside the house real quickly. We walked in this way before. We now have the door here. And I'm going to take you to the back of the house so you can kind of see what's going on back here. And the light is a little low, but I'll get you through here. I hopefully won't trip. But as you can see, the back of the house now. And uh, the stucco guys are working actually on a weekend and doing a fabulous job. And that will all be stuccoed. Eventually there will be a uh, staircase out this back door. And... Uh, I'm back out in the front of the house and as you can see this is the residual of all of the, well it's not all of it, it's just a portion of the stucco that was left. And the last time we saw the house you could see through the house. So again we've got the black paper and we've got the chicken wire and I am thinking the next time we're going to be on video we're probably going to have what's called the brown coat which is the first coating of the stucco. Signing out for now. Enjoy, and we'll see you on the next video. I have to get a new roof, and one of the things you have to do is select the shingles, and this is going to be a, a composite roof, and most of the time, you're, you're, if you're putting on a new roof, they give you a 30 to 45 year guarantee. So my options are, there's a variety of colors, yet I believe I'm choosing called the uh, storm gray which is more of a neutral color and will go with any color of the home. The roof is almost complete. You can see the black paper on the roof and that those are the shingles on the roof there. And we'll pan back out again and you can see my third bathroom. It's the blue thing on the left corner there. The um, container there in the front of the house that's actually where all the uh, the contractor stores all of their materials. Um, since the house is not secure, they have to rent this uh, big metal container. It's also where we keep some of the supplies so they're not stolen. We are going to be continuing the process and as we get closer to the house, uh, this stucco will, the stucco will be going on soon, but earlier in one of the videos I talked about the crawl space. This crawl space is approximately one and a half by two feet. This gives you an adequate way to get under the house to service all the electrical or plumbing. Um, the reason why there's an opening and there's a vent there is so you can get proper ventilation through the house and underneath. It stays dry, uh, stays cool. And along the property, you'll usually find every so many feet on a house. If you have a raised foundation, you will have these air vents. And again, you want to have circulation under the house. So if it does get wet under there, it dries quicker. And you don't have any issues with mold and issues with animals actually getting into the house as well. Today is actually the big push for the roof. Um, I'm actually up on some scaffolding up at the top of the property or the top of the house here so there's the rest of the shingles that are going to go on just wanted to show you what's really on top of your roof I am putting in some skylights and what they need to do um, with these that's very important in the corners and all around the skylight is flashing and that's the most important thing because if you don't have flashing on the uh, windows uh, you'll get water in of course the pipes that are sticking up out of the um, the roof are um, where the gas is basically. You have uh, your, your, your plumbing and, and the uh, drains that go down. You need air, uh, air flow in, into those areas to have good enough suction. And as you see, there's also some, uh, I'll get a little closer, there are some holes in the roof there. Those are actually going to be, those are in the attic. And that, um, that's where the area where if you have hot air, it actually comes back out the house. So um, you have adequate ventilation. 
So as you can see, the roof is almost completed. Uh, the shingles are all around flashing. There's actually two um, skylights in the property or on the house. And uh, this should be done here in the next day or so, but moving very quickly.